Now, what are the prospect you can see from from AI ML fusion with digital transformation to make it more fully operational? Rama. Right. So from uh, making or combining these two, uh, again, uh, we need to see it from a holistic standpoint that as an organization, what are all the touch points that I have, right? So who all are going to use them and what type of impact we are trying to create for each of those uh, you know, departments. Uh, for example, if it is a manufacturing company, and uh, I want to optimize my inventory and logistics. <clears throat> How do I do that, right? So manufacturing will consume the raw materials in a very constant pace, but also will proportionally grow along with the organizational growth plan. So how are we synchronizing demand, forecasting, supply? Or what is the optimal ordering quantity that I should actually undertake? So these are very small things that will have the impact but along with that, uh, if it is for a service organization, an organization which is primarily into like, uh, uh, you know, telephony or, or uh, you know, uh, telecom operator or banking services. So these also have, uh, again, marketing as a very key, uh, uh, you know, uh, methodology to acquire the customers. Now, effectiveness of each and every activity needs to be measured because i believe that there is a value chain uh, you know that is something which is the benchmark so if it is like together adding some value saving cost improving the uh, operating efficiency marketing uh, marketing is doing better increasing the revenues so these things all come together and deliver the uh, value for an organization so AI and ML is correlated because certain things you need to have that historical insight how these processes, various processes are functioning and based upon that as uh, Sir also mentioned, how do we uh, you know transform that? Then now that's the second part of the story. So it's it's the same coin basically need to be leveraged uh, very calculated. Super. Pushu Sir, would you like to supplement anything on this? Um, I would like to say that customer experience in today's day and age uh, is for any organization the most important yardstick to yeah. do great business or just good business, right? Yes. And I think um, ARML is playing a very important role uh, which enhances personalization, uh, mm -hmm. highly adaptive, predictive analytics, with things like sentiment analysis and all of that uh, provides that push to that company to, in my opinion, create something called empathy with the customer. Yeah. Specifically for India, empathy is a very, very important aspect of the culture of India. Yeah. I think if that particular point can be addressed, yeah. a company can do very good business. That's that's the way I, you know, I would like to utilize the and ML from a customer experience perspective. And uh, that's where I, I am going to lead the company towards. Well, in fact, uh, you know, uh, you know, the quote you use like good business to great business, you're using AI ML to make a good business to a great business. <laughs> that, that's a powerful message, yeah, isn't it? Good, good, sir, good. This is what we expect from you, sir. Yeah, definitely. I think let's move to our, another, you know, thing which is very important, which is NLP, you know, and, uh, you know, the question comes to my head is how can a AI enabled NLP framework, with the conventional AI voice board and it takes unlock a new business possibility and boost the business connectivity or productivity. Yeah. I would say conversational AI, all right, um, helps business automate um, customer interaction. Okay. And provides a very personalized way of supporting your customer 24 by 7 because understandably, uh, bots don't take a coffee break, right? <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, I think I think we have to be very, very careful, okay? Unconditional yeah. AI usage can be, have a very dangerous impact. Mm -hmm. because NLP helps computers understand and interpret 
human languages, right? 